Okay, Matt, you posted on the um, 12 Months Mouse Forum a riddle, and everyone is very eager to know what the answer is. It was, forever has seven, mouse has three, mm -hmm. there's a man coming home to a man with a mask, his mm -hmm. ears are all covered up with noise. Yeah. That's a mishmash of a lot of different riddles that uh, <coughs> I've been trying to figure out all my life. <laughs> so, I tried. I, I really tried. Um, <laughs> and here's another one you're not going to be able to answer. This one is from Bobo, uh, a huge fan. Uh, he says, what was the dialogue between Fritz and Shark when they were underwater? Episode 2, scene, second scene, 2 minutes, 30 seconds, 37 seconds in, 2.53. He, he oh, oh yeah, when the whole office filled up with water? I remember that. I have no idea what they were saying. There you go, Bobo. I, I tried again. So <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I, I know what they were I would have to go dig it up, but we okay. did record real dialogue. That. I mean, everything that was in that show had a real purpose, so we didn't just mumbo jumbo it up. So mm -hmm. I'm sure they were talking about the next job or whatever it was. I just don't know the specifics right now. Okay. But I would be happy to dig yeah. it up and give it to you. I threw my business card in there. Okay. Um, so you could just email right me. Right on. Okay, yeah. thanks. That'd be awesome. Um, and then I had one for you, um, and I worded it very poorly, but I love how music is such a focal point in every one of your shows. Like, what. language like that too, just like animation and comedy. You know, horror, drama, romantic, uh, BS, but like, music's just a very important part of my life, and uh, I feel like it just helps, just helps sort of broaden the whole spectrum of what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I really think it makes the shows like flow so well. Yeah. Um, oh, one thing I didn't write down, who did the texture on Ulysses for Cheyenne Simmons? Do you know? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I that was that was a I we really really saw it. Like like you made every of that. Yeah, we did a whole bunch of them. So it, it was uh, you know those Winnie the Pooh characters mm -hmm. that are like those uh, retro style ones that are out now with like the it's just like that. I don't know. Yeah. Kids. Everybody had Microsoft those. Paint. Everybody had kids. Uh, but yeah, I just for me personally like. I've seen it all compressed and crappy on the computer for the the BK your way thing. Mm -hmm. And um, by the way, that show almost lost the Abbey Broads, if you can believe that. That's awful. Yes, please. Oh my God. But it worked it, so it was okay. We have a secret. But, um. Uh oh. <laughs> so. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I saw it on HD in my bedroom on my huge television and I was like blown away at how beautiful it was. And I said something last time you were on the show about CGV like um, cheating and I really take that back. It, oh. it was gorgeous. <laughs> it was. It was gorgeous. Uh, so this is a swim cast question that I have to ask everybody so you guys don't have to answer. But Scott and Matt, what is your favorite kind of cat because we know you love cats? Uh, tabby. I have two tabbies. What's a tabby? It's like a, uh, it's like when you're in the street and you go, give me a tabby, yo, and then when you need a tabby. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Yeah, tabby. What does that mean? I'm going to do that when we walk out of here. I'm going to go to somebody and say, give me a tabby, yo. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bring your camera for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I, I'm also very disturbed because there's been a lot of cat killing and aqua teams. Hmm. I have to tell you that uh, oh, you know, I was no, they disturbed. Were, okay. I tried to take it. No, you can't take that out. I tried to take it out of the movie, and you did? Uh, I okay. did, and it, the argument, I did not win it. But uh, I, yeah, I didn't tell Who that. do I? Nate, you, you know what? Actually, actually, actually like the one that does it yeah. the most uh, is Nathan Turner that, that animates on the show, and he loves killing cats on screen, but he also loves cats. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, his. Sort of you know, but that's kind of a cat owner thing because they, they're so mean to us that we want them to die sometimes. I well, think I he know. has to get it out through visuals yes. so that he doesn't kill his cats. I can understand that. <laughs> uh, so, this is a two-parter and we'll go round. I don't know if it's clockwise or well, I, I have no spatial awareness. 
Who's your favorite characters from the shows you've done? Okay. And, uh... I need to be in your shows. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess it, uh, who's your favorite Aqua Teen character is kind of like moot then. Favorite Aqua Oh, yeah, I mean, after he was at the show. Yeah, yeah. 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 sort of died out. Like, yeah. you know, the show almost ended after it's he was called on Scott the Fry Fry's Hunger Force show now. Okay. <laughs> Aqua Scott, Hunger Fry. <laughs> There's only so many celebrities you can get to a point that you've re you've maxed out, and I and think when you gotta just start scraping them off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. What about besides Scott? Okay, besides Scott. Don't say ham banana. Why? Don't, That's what I said on the you, panel you like ten said it. ago. No, you gotta okay. give us something original. Okay, I'm gonna say uh, one of my one of my favorites was always um, Billy Witch Doctor, just because. That was for me, and that's that was a personal thing. I I was able to. That's when I felt like I really got uh, the drawings of Aquatine. I was able to do that when I get it approved on the first try. So for me, it was like, okay, look, I got this now. So I'm gonna say Billy Woodchuck. Awesome. Reaching, you know, reaching back, I, I um, Happy Time Harry and Jiggle Billy. Oh, oh yeah. God, yes. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, Dirtfoot, I really related a lot, a lot. <laughs> the live action one or the anime? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. You know, you know, I forgot about him. I've got to say he's a good guy. <laughs> he's a good guy. Yeah. Remember that. He's gonna go with Dirtfoot too. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this one is from Stan. He is our listener from Australia. So he's like Ooh. magical. Awesome. They're all magical in Australia, right? I know. That's what, Adam and I were just talking about that. Any tips for making 3D animation for an amateur animator? Just do it. <laughs> that's the tip. That's the 3D tip. software is so it's affordable. Available. It's really affordable. It is. In the U.S. here. And, and, not this and you know, go buy Maya off the shelf. It doesn't cost much. And it's, uh, you don't have to really know what you're doing. I say start there. <laughs> No, uh, 3D. Wow, seriously, uh, it just is a lot of uh, a lot of training. You know, you can go in it even if you want to just animate in it. You have to have so much understanding of the application before you can even get to that point. That mm -hmm. um, you have to be really committed to moving down that path if you're going to go there. When we did Cheyenne Cinnamon, it was how many months? Of